Hello everyone and welcome back to Makeup with Morgan. So on our last episode, it was kind of a trial run. Didn't really know what I was doing, didn't know my recording setup. And I tried to do a tutorial and maybe you could follow it, maybe you couldn't. So instead of doing a tutorial here, I'm going to be doing my makeup like I did when I was in seventh grade. Now keep in mind, this is me as a senior in high school. So I'm a little bit better at makeup than I was then. I'm not using brushes, partly because my brushes aren't clean, but also partly because I didn't use brushes when I was in middle school. My first pair of brushes was actually from a garage sale. As a side's the point. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about some of my middle school friendships and how all of my friends left me. So we'll talk about who these friends are how I realized they replaced me, and what I did once I found that out. So to start off with, we're going to have to talk about who these people are for the sake of their privacy, because this was a long time ago. They're good people. I don't want to seem like I hate them. I don't. We're going to use different names. We're going to use Susan, Karen, and Rory. So I had known Susan, Karen, and Rory for a really long time. We'd been friends since fifth grade, and one of my best friends, Mac, had recently moved away to a city an hour away. So this is the beginning of seventh grade, and I had changed over the summer and kind of rededicated my faith and realized that I didn't like the person I was in sixth grade, which I know sounds dramatic, but you know how it goes. Puberty hits. So... I am kind of acting different. And at this point, Susan, Carrie, and and Rory are all super into K-pop. I mean, that is their life. They love it. They talk about it all the time. And I'm not into K-pop. I can't get into it. It's not my interest. And so I never have anything to talk to them about. And I don't really have classes with these people. So the only thing I have in common with them is that we're all artists. So I'm sitting at the lunch table And this is how I figured out that they had replaced me. There was a new girl who came in, and for the sake of the story, we'll call them Bella. So Bella sits down, and as I'm looking at Bella, I realize a few things. First of all, Bella looks a lot like me. Let me preface this. From fourth to sixth grade, I wore cat ears every day. And seventh grade, I stopped wearing them. And so I saw this girl. She looks a lot like me. She wears cat ears. She's an artist and she likes K-pop. And slowly I'm starting to realize, oh my goodness, these people have replaced me. And I I was really hurt, you know, because I'm sitting there. I'm like, wow, nobody's talking to me. And then I realized what happened. And one of the YouTubers I've watched since seventh grade, her name is Lil Simsy. And Kayla had some issues with friendships, and I had listened to all of her speed builds where she talked about her character, where her podcast, where she talked about it. And so I thought to myself, you know what, I'm not going to do what Kayla did and be alone. I can't do that because I'm a sociable person. So I was like, I'm not going to stay somewhere where they're not going to treasure me. So this moves us on to our next part where I realize, hey, they've replaced me what am I going to do next? So next I decide I'm going to try and sit other places. So I try sitting by my friend Amber and I used to be really good friends with Amber in elementary, but as time went on, we just kind of fell out of touch and we still talk every now and then, but not as much. And so I tried sitting by her, but at this point she and I don't have a lot in common We never really talked to each other, so it was all just kind of awkward, and I wasn't really vibing with her friends. I didn't know them well, so I moved on, and eventually, after sitting by myself, sitting with random people, I end up sitting with my friend Elliot, and Elliot has always been like my little sibling, and they've always been very annoying dynamic, but it was funny, so he sat alone with a kid we'll call Bob. And so Elliot and Bob sat together and I sat down one day and I said, Hey, I'm sitting here now. And they were like, Oh, okay. So I told them what happened. They're like, wow, that really sucks. You're more than welcome to sit here. 
we had this whole joke about how we're the loser table and no one sits with us because nobody likes us, which honestly was well deserved because we were really annoying in middle school. But I really enjoyed sitting with Elliot because him and I had choir together, we had other classes together, we've had classes all throughout our school year together. So I was finally sitting with someone who I had more than one thing in common with, who I had multiple classes with, and who actually liked to sit by me. And as time went on, slowly we created a friend group of more people than just Bob and Elliot, and we were friends all throughout middle school, pretty much. So eventually I did ask Susan, Karen, and Rory why they had replaced me. Because I I explained to them, hey, I feel like you guys just replaced me out of nowhere. I don't hold anything against Bella because I know that she had no clue what, what she was coming into, who I was, what my past was. You know, she's new to school. So she, Bella has no clue. But I talked to them and I was like, you guys do have a clue. You know exactly who I was early on in middle school. And you've seen how I changed. And now that Mac is gone, I feel like... You wanted nothing to do with me, and it really hurt my feelings. And basically, they told me that they didn't really mean to hurt my feelings, but they didn't know how to tell me that they didn't want to be friends with me anymore. And to be honest, that really hurt my feelings. But looking back on it, I'm glad that it happened because as nice as these girls are, they really have nothing in common with me, and it would have been a fruitless relationship because we would have had nothing to talk about. And even if they hadn't replaced me, I would have been very bored with my friendship and felt very lonely. So there is always good that comes out of the bad. When I got replaced, I found new friends that I'm still friends with some of them today, and I still enjoy their company. So if you're going through something similar, I want you to know that you don't have to stay around people who don't cherish you and that it hurts right now, but in the future, you're going to realize that you're better off with people who will really be your friend and not just pretend to be your friend. Now, as we go on to the end of this video, slowly but surely, I do want to preface by explaining what I'm going to do in future videos. In future videos, I want to take you guys through high school with me so we can kind of go through some of my friendships, freshman through senior year, how the pandemic affected that, some of the classes I've taken, the battles I've thought. And don't worry, this isn't the first time I lose my friends. So we've got a lot of stories to tell. So I hope that you guys will continue watching these videos so that you can keep updated on that. And if you do enjoy this kind of voiceover content and you want me to do more of it, by all means, leave a comment down below. Let me know that you enjoy this kind of content. And if you would rather have tutorials, let me know what kind of tutorials you want to see because I can come up with different makeup looks. I can try different makeup techniques and we can go through those together. So as we're wrapping up the video here, again, you can see me putting on the finishing touches, some lip gloss. I said so good, I'm pretty sure, because I really like this lip gloss it's from Bath and Body Works. Um, some key characteristics of this are that I have the chunky eyeliner just on my waterline, no wing. Yep. So thank you guys so much. See ya.